Hey bakers, John Cannell from Preppy Kitchen here and today we're doing a Q&A. I get a ton of questions and my lovely husband compiled a few of them <laughs> into a stack for me to answer today. I haven't seen any of them besides the first one, so let's get started. First question, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I was on Instagram for a long time, Facebook before that, and my viewers wanted to learn how to make the stuff that they see. Like Instagram is like 30 second video time. So it's like, you know, da 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 da, it's done. Not like, how do you bake the cake? What's the recipe? So I wanted to give you the full deal. That's been my goal and I love getting all the feedback and questions. How many hours a day are you in the kitchen? Well, I live in the kitchen or I'm on my computer answering comments, typing things up. It's a full-time job, it's kind of crazy. And the dishes situation is a little bit out of control, <laughs> just to be honest. How long have you been, your husband been together? Mm, oh my God. Uh, I think like six years or something. We're both guys, so stereotypically, it's really easy to forget dates. Just gonna put that out there. I remember our anniversary though, he doesn't. Favorite thing to have for dinner? Hmm, I love fish and shellfish and my husband will not come near it. So if I'm having like a bake day and I'm like, I'm doing like a shrimp scampi or something, click up here for that recipe then I will be eating the shrimp scampi all by myself in heaven with a glass of cold white wine. Hashtag basic. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert to make? Oh my gosh, I have so many, but chocolate eclairs. As you know, I said it was my favorite. It is my favorite. Click up here for that video. It is just delicious, but there's so many other ones that I enjoy too. Waffles or pancakes? Well, if they're being served to me, waffles please, I love a crispy waffle with like all that maple syrup, ton of whipped cream. I just shot a whipped cream video. I've been eating it, I'm a monster. <laughs> so please, I'll take waffles, but pancakes are good too. Are you a single dad? No, I have a husband, he just does not appear on camera. If you watch my first Q&A, click up here for that, you can hear him read the questions. So that's the only time you'll have any, any husband time on this. Are you going to make a pavlova? Yes, I am gonna make a pavlova. Summer's coming up, I'm gonna be hitting that farmer's market and making it, I love pavlovas so much. They're not really that popular in the States though, so I gotta get the word out. Salty or sweet? I'm both. Depends on the time of day and how much coffee I've had. Um, I actually prefer salty foods. Who's your favorite baking influencer? Hmm. I don't know if this counts, but like I am fully obsessed with Ina Garten. I saw her and Jeffrey walking in the park once in New York, hand in hand, and I was like, oh, their marriage, it's real. <laughs> Cause he's always like away for the week, coming back for the weekend, but they're actually married and they love each other. This is the narrative I have. Do you film YouTube videos in your house or a studio? This is my house. So like the kitchen is now a disaster. It's the last video we're shooting for the day. I think this is like video six of the day. It was a very ambitious day, <laughs> it was kind of crazy. But you can tell time is going by because the kids eat snacks from that food bowl, the fruit bowl. Sometimes people are like, why is your fruit bowl moving around? It's because, you know, George or Lachlan are hungry and they want a banana or a nana, as they say. How do you come up with your recipe ideas? I mean, a lot of them are recipes I grew up with or if I go to the farmer's market or even this regular grocery store, I'll say, oh my God, those grapefruits are like, gorgeous, there's blood oranges hanging around, and you'll just kind of like whip something up together. Are you gonna write a cookbook? Yes, that is one of my goals for this year is to like get that proposal out there and um, make a cookbook. So if you have a suggestion, do you want it to be just cakes? Do you want it to be like everything? Like including drinks, hosting? Let me know what you would like the book to be. I'm actually curious. Hello from Germany. Hello from Los Angeles. I love Germany. I spent a few weeks in Berlin and uh, the areas around there with uh, my mom and I was by myself. I have friends there. It's a wonderful country. We also went there for vacation before the kids were born. Love it. Do you like to use Tupperware? Mm, I do, like I have to like pack a lot of stuff. My refrigerator is a horror show. I'm not organized, <laughs> but I actually like the glass containers because you can microwave them dishwasher and nothing's leaching out of them. What is the most difficult thing you've made? Macaron, franche macaron. Oh my gosh, 
You have no idea. I got so many requests, like, please make a macaron video. Please make a macaron video. And I wanted to tell everyone, like, I'm trying. They're all coming out horrible. <laughs> but I tried my best and eventually I learned what I was doing wrong. Click up here for my macaron video. It's kind of long, but it has all the tips and tricks I learned over the many months of failures making those cookies. The funny thing is though, even though they're, even if they're like super ugly jacked cookies, they still taste almost the same and delicious. So I was just eating the ugly ones. Is there another way to flavor strawberry without preserves? You can make a fresh strawberry reduction really easy. Um, I'll put a link up here for one of the recipes that has it, but you know, all you have to do is take the strawberries, a little sugar, lemon juice, maybe some lemon zest if you want to be sassy and then muddle it up a bit, reduce it down, strain it, and you're good to go. What's your favorite Mexican dessert? Flan. <laughs> I love flan. It is one of my favorite things to eat. My mom would make it when I was growing up, and um, I need to like make a flan recipe for you guys. I love flan. I love eggs. I love creamy things. Mm. How are the boys? They're good. They are this close to being two, and if you follow me on Instagram at Preppy Kitchen, you will see pictures of them occasionally. I just posted one and uh, it's just shocking. It's actually a slide so you can see them last year and this year. They are growing up so fast. It makes me sad and kind of want to have more kids, but I'm also uh, really tired. <laughs> are you teaching your boys Greek? Mm, okay. <laughs> Not right now, um, maybe soon. I need to brush up on my Greek, it's so bad. It's the one language I was able to speak like fairly well. Um, French was like, I was always so insecure with my pronunciation, but Greek um, I was pretty good at. Although when I was in sixth grade in Athens speaking Greek, uh, one of my grandparents' friends was like, you speak like a woman, you need to open your mouth more. And I was like, I'm like 11 or something and it's midnight and a restaurant filled with smoke. Can you cut me some slack? Did not want to do that. Uh, but I do want to learn again because it's sad. I've like lost so much knowledge. Which do you like better, baking or cooking? Oh my gosh. Hmm. I don't know. Like it just depends on what I feel like making. I made a shrimp ceviche the other day and it was so good. Uh, I don't know if it's posted. I'm, click up here if it's posted. Otherwise, I'll put a link to the blog post. So good. And that was like a no bake, just like assembly thing. So it just depends on what I feel like eating. Um, who's your favorite musician? Oh, I love so many of them. I would have to say, oh, I can't choose. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the description box. Can you freeze your cakes before icing? You can always freeze a cake, wrap it really well, and then let it come to room temperature before serving. I would let it come to closer to room temperature before decorating because you, the frozen cake can do some weird things to the buttercream. And if it's a butter-based cake, like my vanilla cake recipe, which you can click up here for, it is going to be denser when it's cold. So it really has to be room temperature to almost like on the warmer side. If I'm like having a piece of cake and it's been in the fridge, I might just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds at half power, like you're warming up butter and it like wakes it back up. Um, how do your boys inspire you? They inspire me to be more patient and just like, understand how lucky I am because even if they're having like a two-year-old meltdown, they're just like, I am so grateful to be in this place and you know, it's like the miracle of life. They're also really cute and I'm saying this as an unbiased regular person off the street. Are you self-taught or did you go to culinary school? I am totally self-taught slash mom taught. My mom is like a master baker and cook. She is amazing and occasionally she'll She'll come to the channel occasionally. She's living her best retirement life and very busy doing fun stuff, but she can just make anything. The decoration part, I had to teach myself because she like never had a piping tip in her life. Um, it wasn't a thing back in the seventies. Last question that went by so quickly. Do you play any musical instruments? Well, when I was in middle school, I played the clarinet quite mediocrely. <laughs> it was like, I could get all the notes, but and I could read music, but that was it. And I am just not a musical person. I have some talents. Music is not one of them, and I've accepted that, but I enjoy listening to it. And if you watched the end of the video, I remembered 
my favorite band is Tame Impala. I love their albums, especially, you know the one, if you love Tame Impala. I'm not gonna say it. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this one, check out my other Q&A and my other Q&A. There's a couple of them out there, they're actually in a playlist and you can learn a little bit more about me. And if you have any other questions I didn't answer, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you and I'll probably roll them into my next Q&A. I try and do one every month or two. See you soon. Bye-bye.